Hello, my name is Dr. Sean Cordopassi. I'm a division director responsible for cybersecurity. Today, I'm gonna to be talking with you about enumeration. Okay, so with scanning and enumeration, they go hand in hand. It's important to know that. So what exactly is an attacker doing? So they scan, they do reconnaissance footprinting, and then they're trying to find out all the weaknesses to a target. Then, as part of the enumeration process, they come up with a plan to exploit that target, such as a, uh, a username or a network resource. So what do I suggest? Well, I recommend you do your own penetration testing so that you know your weaknesses ahead of time and you can work to reduce the attack surface. So I'm gonna talk about my own experience with enumeration and as a division director, what I'm responsible for is protecting systems. So it's allowed me to do penetration testing, vulnerability scans, incident response plans, and actual incidents that I've had to respond to. So that has helped me to think like an attacker and have countermeasures and security controls in place in order to um, meet authority to operate requirements. So I wanna talk about how the training has helped me immensely. I've learned command line prompts. I've learned tools such as Nmap. I've learned the different kinds of attacks. And most importantly, I've had to apply that knowledge in real time in labs. Okay, so why is this important? Because uh, for future attackers or penetration testers to my systems that I'm responsible for, it has helped me to reduce the attack surface, uh, build layers of security, and to secure the systems I'm responsible for protecting. So it's been immensely helpful. So in, in terms of the team, and understanding enumeration. The point is, you're only as strong as your weakest link. You gotta be ever vigilant. You gotta know that there's always a, a possibility that an attack will happen. It's not enough just to have an authority to operate and have good security controls. You gotta think like an attacker in order to, like I said, reduce the attack surface, have high quality security controls, layers of security, and do other things uh, outside the box to ensure that you are properly uh, preventing enumeration and further attacks on the resources you're responsible for. So uh, like I said, a risk-based approach to operation is what is needed. Okay, so if you're new to the cybersecurity field and you're wanting to learn more about scanning and enumeration, I do have some tips for you. You gotta think like an attacker if you wanna uh, protect your resources. If you're learning cybersecurity concepts, uh, learning about scanning and enumeration, then you really wanna take some pretty detailed notes if it's new to you. Secondly, don't just memorize concepts. Uh, you really wanna learn it inside and out so you can apply it in real time. By thinking like an attacker, it enables you to build up your layers of security, like I had mentioned before, and build strong countermeasures that you know will withstand a, a potential attack. So I wish you the best of luck.